Alexi Peskin and Mam Fatun Yang. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Do come in. Do come, in. come a little closer. Come a little closer. Uh, exploring identities, borderless identities. Alexi, what, what did you discover in your session? What did you explore? Uh, I mean, I explored like not like myself and myself through um, through Europe, through the world, and through how people uh, view my identity, how I view my identity. But that's not today, but it's like a you know a lifelong um, uh, work. And I mean, but more than anything, I um, I was able to share that with people here. And I think it's like very important. Uh, Manfred, you've written a book on 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 Europe through the black experience. I made a movie, yeah, and I also made a movie um, entitled Maria Noir uh, that came out in 2016. And I think it was a fantastic panel where we talk about these ideas, you know, how to be French when your identity is also hyphenated in a country that does not re recognize hyphenation, you know, how we talk about this Frenchness as being something that is I and divisible. It is possible to be French, but to have your roots that, you know, go all the way from from Dakar to Bahia to New York to Pointe à Pitre and that identity doesn't have to be bordered by race or ethnicity or national or you know all these political it's it's personal and um yeah so your thing was a, an extremely um uh, intriguing extremely en exciting panel what are the, what are the lessons that the black experience can teach Europe which is now in in a state i don't know how you see europe now but how how do you see that the black experience can actually help the rest of europe come to terms with this quite traumatic moment in europe in history well I think like what the black experience can teach is like what any other local identity has been able to teach you know like what has happened like basically that like you know bigotry or like the uh, close-mindedness is like something like basically I think like it's important uh, to be humanist Mamou. How, how do you see Europe today? What's your view on Europe right now? Well, I was I found the question that you asked, Alexi, very interesting because you know now when you think about all the things happening in France, whether it's the Gilets Jaunes movement or the rise of populism and this kind of rejection of you know political apparatus and traditional um, apparatus, whether it's the left or, or right parties, what some what some something that Europe, France, can learn from its minorities population? We are a population who had the experience of being left over by a system, and if you think about the Gilets movement that it, it is what it is you know people think realizing all of a sudden that they've been left out of the system and we for the past centuries for the past 50 years we've put on mechanism to cope with being left out of the of the of a system but realizing that you cannot be out of the system so you have all this coping mechanism and based also you know like you say on humanist value but also just developing this adaptability to a system that was not designed for you. So I think Europe's, our countries have a lot to learn about ourselves and just this way we were able to bridge multiple identities because right now a lot of the issues that are happening is that people identified with something, Frenchness, and then all of a sudden you realize that l'état providence, all these things are, whew, it was, a, it was a dream, so what do we do? I mean, some people are in shambles, other people are mad, they're in the streets, but we've always thought of ourselves not, not as belonging to one thing, we've always been many things, and I think that this is something that our countries can learn from us, how to you know, navigate this multiplicity.